y'all really want a game like this? <laughs> hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. Shout out to Sprag for combining this hoe. And look, man, we got a lot of 2K23 info. We got some new league gameplay. I'm going to break down all the new fundamentals and features. So make sure y'all watch this full video, man. Subscribe, like the goddamn video, man. Let's try and get 500 likes. Turn on them post notices. But look, as you can see, Jason Tatum is 6'8", man. He looked to be wiggling, right? As you can see right here, bro, it don't look like he loses crazy amounts of stamina, like in the Lonzo clip, man. That Lonzo clip, y'all were so happy, right? But guess what? I guarantee you, you're gonna be like, this looks okay. How can you support two different things? I, I, <laughs> I don't understand. But as you can see, it looked like the nigga is losing more stamina on the right. Um, To be honest, maybe this move just requires less stamina. The behind the back doesn't seem to give a, a big, um, burst like you could tell right when he throws that hole behind his back it's like a little um it's like a little glitchy like you know it's more of a just huh you know so maybe that's why it requires less stamina and yeah man th this could be an indication that six eights will be able to move but I, I i don't know about that man i know some people are probably gonna jump into those conclusions and stuff I'm sure there's there's always you can always make tall ISO builds and whatever, man. But bro, I'm telling you, man. I talked. The builder is nerfed, so you're not gonna be able to have a realistic two-way superstar like this. You're gonna be half of that, you know. I'm sure when you break down your builds, um, you're gonna find out your build is really a 75 overall and not a 99 overall, but Y'all are um y'all are in support of that. Y'all rather have real life builds better than the builds you spend hundreds of dollars on. I don't know, but <laughs> that's what y'all want, my boy. Now jump 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 man germ. Another clip. Jump man germ, you're deaf. Confirmed. <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all think this nigga is a deaf. How are you getting this? You are better than uh 2K Intel. Where 2K Intel ain't really dropped anything this year. Like, bro, are you the new, like, <laughs> like, what is this? How are you getting this? <laughs> I don't understand. But as you can see, the interceptions look clean in the bin. Interceptions look clean, bro. Okay, so who is this? Man, this hoe so damn blurry in 2022 makes no sense. Intentional, my nigga. So this is Devin Booker throwing to... Devin Booker throwing to Clay? Is that Clay? I can't see this shit. Is that Clay? And then Curry throwing it? No. I can't read this shit, bro. You niggas need to grow up, bro. If y'all gon' bro, it's 2022, bitch. Why is anything blurry, bro? Come on, what does blurry shit, like, what does that do for y'all? There's no point to have blurry footage. We don't have Nokias no more, my nigga. I don't understand. But these interceptions look stupid, valid. Look at this. So if they actually have, I don't know what this arrow is. If they actually have it to where when you know a pass is coming and you could get tight on your nigga, pause, and go and just get that interception it's so easy huge skill gap game changes because niggas are bailed out when they get locked up on d they pass the ball because they're scared to get ripped or they're out of stamina and you know their teammates don't know how to move efficiently but if they make it to where it's a skill gap where you're off ball niggas they don't know when you're in trouble and when to get out the way and help you and if you could just pluck them like that huge skill gap huge so many people will be crying especially the wreck bitches oh my god <laughs> but look that that's beautiful and then another steal you know if you can actually predict it and time it bro you deserve that bitch oh god look he turned into that nigga he threw a stupid pass 
two niggas right there. Dion, that nigga. What, nigga? <sighs> I think that's Aiden. I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah, bro, it look. It looked cool. It ain't really much to break down. No stamina was really lost. I didn't see him lose stamina when, um. I didn't see him lose stamina when he went for that interception. And he tipped that hoe. I don't really like that. But the other nigga went and caught it. I didn't. I don't really see uh, this nigga losing adrenaline to catch interceptions. So maybe it's just a reach and you miss. Or maybe this is delayed. Or. I don't know. I don't really see the adrenaline loss. I thought like when you press square, like you're losing an adrenaline, but maybe it's only for when you reach on the ball handler type shit. Um, I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of this. I don't really like this, bro. To, to be honest, it's like, now you can see a little bit more quality, but even in, when the nigga did it in 22, I don't know, this is a mind fuck. Go, Cause I've talked to a lot of niggas that you know made the game, played the game type shit. They're just saying stamina's way less. It's ass. And, you know, it's not. It's not it, bro. Uh, 2K18 without the dribbling that we eventually found out. Cause y'all know in 2K18, my boy, they didn't intend for us to dribble like that. They didn't intend for niggas to be dexing like that. They didn't intend for stretch bigs to run the game. So the things y'all really like about 18. They didn't intend for you to even be able to do that, you know? But it's seeming like this is this is gonna be like a 2K18 to where they want you to be intended, you know? They they gonna get what they intended type shit. I don't really think this should require any stamina. Does this, this look like an effective move to you? It, it doesn't look effective at all. It's, it's very slow. You stop twice. It, it's not it's not effective at all you can't get anyone with this without a stun you know it's a very inefficient move so what, what what 2k don't understand is if niggas don't have the stamina to do any type of real dribbling people are gonna resort to doing something very cheesy to get open and you will see you will see all they had to do was buff defense man by nerfing stamina, you're taking like real dribbling like out the game. Dude, wait, wait, I, I, I got another point. Do y'all niggas know that when you see people play comp, like if you see me play comp, I do a few dribble moves, literally, because he's trying to rip me. He's a good lockdown, but when I play bums, I go crazy. It's just like real life. You're seeing NBA players play each other and they're good right that's who they're versing but imagine if they're playing high schoolers that's the epitome of me playing an old bitch or a young kid or 99 percent of the people that i play that's why i go a little flashy with it because the nigga can't check me niggas do that shit in real life when a nigga is way better than someone else they start going crazy but when they're on equal level you can't do that right it's the same with the game and it's the same when niggas play comp and it's the same with real life y'all trying to be like who dribbles like that and all that shit it's just i could understand the whole sentiment of the spinning around shit and all that but bro they don't do that versus comp bro it don't help y'all niggas don't really understand what you're asking for bro if it's going to be harder for good players that are actually good at the game and can score off the dribble, imagine you. You're never going to be able to score. <laughs> You're never going to be able to score, bro. Crazy. But I love you, niggas. I'll teach you. Don't worry. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.